fire last week raised down a hostel housing over 200 female students at the Dadia Swaba Nessie Midwifery Training College in the Ahaf region. This is what is left of the hostel. Books, clothes, money, laptops among others were destroyed during the incident. The management of the school has shut down the school for the next two weeks and has asked the students to go home. It hasn't been easy at all. I mean, um, where to put the students is a problem. Um, when the incident happened, we had to keep them in the in one of the big classrooms. And that's where they were putting up for two days. And then I've sent them back home. So they are going home um, to prepare and come. By that time, when by the time they will come in two weeks' time, we would have also prepared ourselves to adjust to the situation. So when they return in two weeks' time, where would they be lodging? Um, we are trying to use the kitchen as a classroom right now, and then our dining hall as a classroom, so that we make way for the classrooms to be bedrooms for them, to be hostels for them. So that's how we are going to do it, to adjust to the situation until something is done. Uh, we had a meeting with uh, the MP for the area, the DC, and other well-meaning uh, people from the community, the chiefs. Um, we've, they've promised to contribute. Many people have promised to contribute so that we see whether we can put up a new building immediately. Some of the affected female students have been sharing the impact of the incident on them. This incident or this strategy has really affected us, the students, a lot. Not to even talk about the psychological trauma. Our books, our laptops, our phones, our handouts, everything has got bent. You can imagine we being in school from first year to um, the third year, which is my, my third year. All my handouts has gotten bent. I'm about writing my exams in two months' time, and I don't have any handout or any book to study. It has affected us a lot because we are supposed to be in school by this time. But because of the tragedy that's happened, they break us for two weeks that we should go. And me like this, I'm coming from Volta region, very far place. So I can't go home and come back the next two weeks. Even the following week, we will be doing our registration. That means I'm spending only one week in the house and coming back. So it affects us a lot. Our handouts are not to be get back from first year to now. All, everything is bent. Laptops, everything. The only thing that we have on that is the dress that we wore that day in class. We are even having a class that day, that Sunday, that the incidents happened. So it's affecting us a lot. Because as I'm here, like I'm a final year student, NAC, and I've lost a lot of things in our building like our laptop, money, our tents, handouts, all. We've lost a lot. So it's really affecting us in our studies. The principal of the Dadeso Abad Nursing Midwifery Training College, Marcelina Teni Kose, is calling for support. Well, I'm appealing to them to come to our aid, to build classrooms. We need classrooms, we need hostels. In fact, the hostels we're even having, every time I get the opportunity, I talk to people that we need hostels. We need more classrooms. So they should come. If Get Fund can be of help to us, you know, uh, we are asking if they can come and then help us to build a hostel right now for us to be able to continue. If not, where, where will the students be put in? Where are we sending this school? This is the only tertiary school in the district. And uh, I don't think it will be good we close down the school. So we, we, we need to continue. So they should come to our aid. Mm. And people from Ahafo. Whether they are in a half or they are outside a half or outside Ghana, they should all come to our aid. They should come and help us. And all Ghanaians, uh, corporate organizations, who I mean, who love uh, tertiary institutions or maybe nursing in general, they should come to our aid. They should help us to be able to continue with our learning. The management at the Dadia Swaba Nursing Midwifery Training College is calling on government to come on board to construct a new hostel for the female students in the institution. From Dadia Swaba, I am Michael Saponifum for City News.